This is the BS250, which is the smallest bandsaw in the premium range for record power. We've got a 240mm throat and 120mm depth of cut. The machine comes as standard with the mitre fence and the rip fence, which are both easily adjustable. Shown here in this position, for when we're doing smaller work, allows you to support the timber at the side and above with the guides, but is easily adjustable for the larger pieces by simply sliding the fence off and putting into the higher position. before securing, giving you the full depth of cut. As standard, the machine will be bench mounted from this position. Shown here we are optional stand and wheel kit. The top door easily accessible, the quick release handles. Shown here you've got your cast alloy wheel that's balanced seal for life bearings, tension knob on the top and the limit switch for safety so the machine can't operate with the door open. You can see to the side we've got a drawn aluminium tool post which carry the guides. This is set on a rack opinion system. The scale on the side gives you an indication of the depth of cut that can be achieved. The guides are above and below the table. Again, these are sealed for life bearings, which are easily adjustable. The machine will take from a quarter to an half inch blade. And obviously, these just adjusted to suit each individual blade. The timbers that you're going to cut are supported by a grey cast iron table, more than substantial. Underneath, we've got the trunnion that it sits on that can be loosened off to tilt the table to 45 degrees. Before we make any cuts, when the machine's been assembled out of the box, there's just a couple of checks that need to be done. We need to just check that the table is sitting square to the blade at the side and at the rear. And also that the fence is sitting square to the table. And the final one, you just put a straight edge across the width of the blade and then you can offer the fence up which will just ensure that when we do push the timbers through they're going to be pushing through nice and square. We don't want the timbers going through at an angle which will obviously offset the set on the blade. We're now ready to turn the machine on. So let's see what cuts this is capable of doing. Okay, so let's see how it performs cutting a ball blank. So we're just going to cross cut a bit of deep silver birch. Okay, so let's uh, try cutting a, a veneer with a bit of yellow pine. 